was going to do another question and answer video, but I really didn't have any just any really specific questions about Createx, so to speak. I think there's some people are confused about mixing ratios and things like that. Uh, you know, your typical 2 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 2, all that stuff. What's what and how much and how to do that. And So I'm going to try to explain that real quick. Um, this is my te a test piece I was doing and I used just a regular opaque blue and I poured some into some little bottles and then I mixed one with Future and I mixed one with um, Createx Thinner but I mixed them at different ratios with the, with the Createx Thinner I mixed it two to one two parts of paint to one part of the reducer the first number is always the paint always 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 the paint that's the industry standard just think of it this way the first thing you pour in your bottle is your paint that's the first thing you you always go to is your paint okay then you add your thinner or reducer so just remember it in that way the first number is always the paint and I've seen people get that backwards and wrong that would cause a major catastrophe because you would double the error so it's real simple just the first number is always the paint, the second number is always the thinner or reducer. Now on the future, I mixed it one to one or half and half. One part future or, or one part paint and an equal amount of future, one to one. But don't worry about percentages and all that, just think of parts as the easiest way to do it. One part this to two parts that or two parts this to one part that. Makes it a lot easier, you're not having to worry about amounts and ounces and this and that really that's not important you kind of mix by how much paint you think you need to make now you can get cups of all different sizes that have these graduations on it and I've seen where people get really messed up on this but this is actually very very simple you know this happens to be a big cup this is a 32 ounce cup and up to here is 24 ounces of paint that's not important um, these are these are your one your, your two part mixing ratio uh, bars here and it makes it really simple if you're mixing one to one you know, if you're mixing like I did with the future, you know, one part paint to one part future or thinner, then you would fill the cup up to a specific, just pick a number, you know, however much paint you think you need. Say you need about this much paint or, or somewhere in here. And I'll just go to the two. So you would fill your paint up to the two on this bar. That's your paint bar. This is your thinner bar. You would leave that paint in there and then fill your reducer up to the two you always match the number you know if you're filling if you're gonna put all the way up to four in paint then you would go all the way up to four leaving that paint in there and add that much reducer you always just match the numbers you don't pour in paint pour it out and then think that's I'm mixing a two to one so I need to fill this to two pour it out and then fill it to one or you don't remove the paint from the bucket you actually fill to a specific number these are just general guide numbers these aren't ounces or nothing these are just numbers that you can match depending on how much paint you're wanting to mix if you're doing a two to one two parts paint to one part thinner or reducer then you again you would just simply fill up to how much you roughly you think you need and I'll say I fill my paint up to three then you would fill continue and fill up to the three with reducer and that would give you a two to one or two to one mixture same with four to one you want four parts paint to one part thinner you would fill to a random number say five then you would put your thinner in leaving that paint in there until you hit the five on the thinner bar and that would give you a four to one ratio mix and it's real simple you get to three parts and uh, it's not much different <clears throat> it's just that you have three components you have um, a resin or a paint or a clear uh, your second number generally is your hardener because that doesn't change if you're say you're using a matrix clear it's four to one no matter what it's always four parts clear to one part hardener um, so it would be confusing if you did clear then reduce it and then try to guess what your hardener is supposed to be to match to get back to where you're supposed to you know you're four to one so I would always 
I always do it in the way that you mix it. It's the same as with the two to one. You, I always mix, if I'm doing a three part clear, I always mix the clear and the hardener and then reduce it to the consistency that I want. So if I'm wanting to do a matrix is four to one, four to one, you know, so it'd be four parts clear or four parts paint, one part hardener, and then if you want to add one part thinner, you would go to that line. So you would go, if you're doing a 411, or let's say you're doing a 412, four parts, I'd go to pick a number of just generally how much I'm wanting to end up with. You know, I'm wanting to have maybe this much material when I'm done. That's three. So I would go to three with the clear, leave that in, and then fill up this high with hardener, and then fill up to here with a reducer. And that would give you a four, one, one, or two, excuse me, ratio. And hopefully that's clear. I, I, I hope I'm making that clear. Um, you, you don't pour in paint and pour it out and then pour in reducer, pour it out, you know, nothing like that. And you don't get go like four, one, one. You know, it's not like that. You match the numbers across, and that gives you that ratio. You know, it's you would always fill whatever you fill this to. You're going to fill your other uh, components to that same number: four, 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 two, 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 six, six, six. Um, always the same number. Just remember that. Same with the two part: four, 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 four. That's going to give you your different ratios. Um, so I hope that that's clear. The main thing to remember is when you write down ratios or you're telling somebody a ratio or you're reading a ratio, it's always paint thinner or paint hardener, which is a set, you know, that's unchangeable or clear hardener thinner, you know. Um, and just think of it how, and the easy way to remember is think of how you mix it. You don't typically pour thinner in a bottle and then add paint. You always pour your paint and then you add your thinner to the desired consistencies. I'm going to put up a video later on, hopefully today, of, um, of some painting and stuff and just what I'm doing. And I kind of think I have an idea of what I'm going to paint the car. I've been working so many hours and, and I'm working two jobs essentially, so I haven't been able to do much of anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully this clears some stuff up. Talk to y'all later. Bye.